I'm Miss Susan from the Fountaindale Public Library. This video is a supplement video to the Take It, Make It Clothespin Mermaid Kit that you would have picked up at the Children's Services desk. So let's get started. The kit that you would have picked up at the Children's Services desk would include two foam pieces for tails, one green strip of foam, yarn for the hair, one short yarn, and one long one, and the clothespin. What you will need to supply is glue, scissors, and to decorate either some permanent markers, gel pens, gel pens work really well on this. Okay, so we're gonna get started. The first thing you wanna do is, we'll do, the, we'll do the green first. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna paint the tail. So we're gonna start just like this and paint the tail. A good green marker will do a really good job of this. Okay. So you paint the tail. You can paint both sides. I'm going to save time and just do I'm gonna do just like that. Okay. Okay, there's my green tail. Now your two tail pieces, while that is drying, you have two tail pieces. They just need to be glued together. You can use uh, paste if you want, you know, a glue stick, or if if you have white glue, that would work. You're going to need the best. The best thing to put the yarn on for her hair is white glue, so that would be better if you have some handy. So we're just going to glue that. Okay, so I have one already glued. It's already part of this one, so I'm just going to take that one. The other piece that you need to glue on to the two tail pieces is just like that. So it'll go right over to the end of that. Now that is because this does not necessarily fit in. It goes in, but it won't stay in. So the best way to get it to stay in is to put that extra piece on there like this. So this little piece goes like that so that you can stick this in just like that. See, there's the tail. Just like that. Oh, I got a little glue on. Now, you can glue it in if you want. Mine's removable so that I can show and demonstrate it, but you can glue, just put a couple pieces of glue in, or a couple drops of glue in, and then you'll have the tail in there. So I'm going to pull the tail back out while I show you other decorating. Yeah, I don't like the tail in the way. So, to make the hair, you just need to take it around your hand and I just wrap it. Now if you have a little hand you'll get more wraps and shorter hair. If you have a long hand or a wide adult hand like me it will have a little bit longer hair. Now once you've wrapped it like that you're gonna take it apart and you're going to take your short piece and you just have to find a spot on here. It doesn't matter where. Just go through this loop, 
through the circle of yarn and tie it like you're tying your shoe and just go like that. Now that's part of her hair. Then we're going to go to the bottom part of the loop and go like that. Don't worry if you lose a piece, that was just because it went up on the upside. So, now your hair is going to be all different lengths. And you can trim it right here a little bit if you want. I'm going to trim mine a little bit. And then the next step, oh, actually, before we go to the next step, let's draw the face on. I think it's easier to draw the face on before you put the hair on. So what we're going to do is, you see how you have the front like this? These are the sides. Where the slit is, is the side. So you want to put your eyes and mouth on the front of the body. So I'm going to put little black eyes. I'm going to put, I'm going to show you after I draw it. Two little black dots for eyes. And on the black dots, I'm going to put two little eyelashes. Okay, so I hope you can see that. And then for her mouth, I'm going to try the red. Let's see if the red shows up. Just going to put a little mouth on her. It's much easier with the gel pens. That's what this is. And we just put a little bit of little, little detail there. So now she has a little mouth. And it doesn't matter what the mouth looks like. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is your, your design. Now, this little mermaid has a little belly button. This mermaid, I think she's just going to have the little top. We're going to put the little top. I'm using a, a sparkly gel pen for her top. And you can put any kind of top. I'm putting a little uh, seashell kind of bikini top on her. A little seashell type. Let me draw the other side. And this, of course, doesn't have to be perfect either. It's all whatever you want. And then don't forget the little, there, the little straps. The little straps. And I love these gel pens. It makes it like painting on wood. If you can get gel pens, that's the thing to use on these because they're really detailed. So there she is, like that, has a little top on. And then we're going to attach her hair like so. So the way you do it is you take your glue and you want to put a little bit on there. I'm going to put squeeze a little bit on. And I'm going to move it around a bit. I'm going to put some to the back. Now you can put the, the glue on the back later if you want. You can just put it on the top. Or if mom or dad can help you with using a glue gun and they can glue it on, that's really the best way to do it. But this is the safer way. So we're just going to do it this way. So I'm going to take that and put it right on, put her hair right there. And then as I'm holding, I'm gonna close up the back of the hair so it's sticking on the back of her head also. And that one single piece of short yarn that we tied together, it kind of ends up being her, her part in the center. It kind of ends up being her part. Now this takes a little bit to dry. It's going to take a few minutes to dry. But after you've done that, and you're done decorating her, you stick in the tail, and you have your little mermaid. 
So there you have it, your very own mermaid. Hope to see you soon at the Fountaindale Public Library. Bye!